Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Um, today, we are going through, continuing our journey through Genesis, and today I wanted to talk about the servant and how the servant in, our, in this chapter 24, um, which we can guess might be Eleazar, but we don't know that for sure, but we're going to refer to him as the servant of Abraham. Um, this servant is a picture of the Holy Spirit, okay? And today, um, we're going to be reading from Genesis 24, verses 47 to 61. But after I read that, I'm going to give you seven um, things here. You, you can write them down, or in YouTube, it'll be in the bottom. I'll try and put that in the bottom in the show notes, that it will list out those seven things. That this, it, It'll show you the seven characteristics of the servant and those say, same seven characteristics are also in the Holy Spirit. Okay? So this will make sense once we start going through it. Genesis 24, you can turn there with me. Genesis 24, verses 47, um, 47 to 61. Okay? It says this, I asked her, whose daughter are you? She said, the daughter of Bethuel, son of Nahor, whom Melchah bore to him. Then I put the ring in her nose and the bracelets on her arms, and I bowed down and worshipped the Lord. I praised the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me on the right road to get the granddaughter of my master's brothers for his son. Now, if you will show me kindness and faithfulness to my master, tell me. If not, tell me, so I may know which way to turn. Laban and Bethuel answered, This is from the Lord. We can say nothing. To you one way or the other here is rebecca take her and go let her become the wife of your master's son as the lord has directed when abraham's servant heard what they had said he bowed down to the ground before the lord then the servant brought out gold and silver a jewelry and articles of clothing and gave them to rebecca he also gave costly gifts to her brother and to her mother then he and the men who were with him ate and drank and spent the night there when they got up the next morning, he said, Send me on my way to my master. But her brother and her mother replied, Let the young woman remain with us for ten days or so. Then you may go. But he said to them, Do not detain me. Now that the Lord has granted success to my journey, send me on my way so I may go to my master. Then they said, Let's call the young woman and ask her about it. So they called Rebecca and asked her, Will you go with this man? I will go, she said. So they sent her... And so they sent their sister Rebecca on her way along with her nurse and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebecca and said to her, Our sister, may you increase to thousands upon thousands. May your offspring possess the cities of your enemies. Verse 61. Then Rebecca and her attendants got ready and mounted the camels and went back with the men. So the servant took Rebecca and left. Okay, so that that sums up. I mean, well, that tells us um, almost the end of the story. Okay, the servant has successfully uh, got Rebecca and is now on the way of taking her back. Um, to, and tomorrow we're going to conclude chapter twenty-four with um, them getting back to where Isaac is and um, basically like the marriage ceremony. Okay. Um, so I wanted to go over seven things here and it's, it's all, it's taken from this passage today, most of it. And then you'll see other parts of what we've already read previously in the previous episodes of this also, um, takes place. Okay. So there's seven things here that are characteristic of the servant and it shows also the character of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So the first thing is this. He is not there to promote himself, okay? So the servant never says, he never, we don't even know his name, okay? He never ever promotes himself and says, hey, look how great I am. You need to come back because of how great I am. Never ever says that. The Holy Spirit is the same way. The Holy Spirit does not promote the Holy Spirit. It's always pointing to Jesus and, and to God the Father, okay? So the Holy Spirit doesn't promote itself. All right. The second thing is this. He points to the Father and the Son. Every time that um, when he we read it today, he's talking about how great Abraham is and all the wealth he has. And then um, the, he's talking about Isaac, too, um, and that he needs a bride for Isaac, the only son 
of um, Abraham. And, and he says, Abraham has given everything to his son Isaac. Okay, so he's always pointing to Abraham and Isaac. Okay, and in the same way, the Holy Spirit is always pointing to God the Father and Jesus. Okay, um, never pointing to himself. All right. The third thing is this. He prepares the bride. Okay. So when he gets there and he sees the bride, he starts off by giving her jewelry, uh, the nose ring and the bracelets and stuff. And then he prepares the bride also by telling who Isaac is and who Abraham is. So we know that uh, for sure. It's, it's written right here. You know, that's all concreted out and written out. Okay. And then it's obvious on their way back, they have conversations about who Isaac is and, and, and so forth. Um, because we know that when we get there, what we read tomorrow, um, Rebecca is not surprised like, oh, is this, you know, she doesn't, she's never seen Isaac. So it's a shock to, to see Isaac. Okay. But um, she knows that she's being prepared uh, to be the wife of Isaac. That's the whole reason uh, the servant came. So he's preparing the bride for Isaac. And in the same way, the Holy Spirit is preparing the bride of Christ uh, for God the Father and Jesus. Okay? And um, that's oftentimes bringing conviction and pointing out sin and stuff that needs to be dealt with. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. All right. So um, the fourth thing is this. It provides gifts. All right. So you saw in this passage here that he talked about, he gave gifts to not only Rebecca, he gave the, the nose ring and, and, um, and uh, bracelets and gave other things. But he also gave uh, gifts to Laban, um, who was just looking out for himself, and then also the uh, other family members. So he gave gifts. And the Holy Spirit also gives gifts. And those are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and we'll get into that um, another time, what those gifts are. But um, the Holy Spirit gives gifts. Um, so anyway, let's move on here. The fifth thing is he does not force his way. Okay, when um, the servant comes here, he doesn't come armed and kidnap um, Rebecca and take her away. Okay, never does it by force. And he comes to her and he asks, you know, uh, basically if she can come with him uh, and then goes to the family and asks also. Okay, so never forcing uh, his way. It's always asking and then um, submitting. And he even says here, he says, let me know if I can take her so I know which way, way to go, what, what to do. Okay, he, he says that, you know, the night he gets there. Let, let me know. Can I have, can I take her back or can I not take her back? Let me know. So in the same way, the Holy Spirit doesn't force his way. Um, the Holy Spirit won't, uh, you know, force his way in, into your heart. He'll, he'll bring conviction and, and so forth. Um, but he, go, he goes where he's invited. The Holy Spirit does. Okay? All right. And then um, the, the servant, it goes where invited or sent. Okay? The servant was sent by Abraham, and he goes, and sent by Abraham, and he goes to where Abraham sends him. Okay? And then when he gets to the place, um, he doesn't go, he doesn't just uh, march into a house and says, I'm here. I'm here set up camp for me. No, he doesn't do that at all. He has to be invited in and then he, um, he you know, the people invite him in. Okay. So it was an invitation. Um, so the thing is he, he goes where he's sent and also where he's invited. Okay. And then the Holy Spirit is also the same way. The Holy Spirit will go where the Holy Spirit is sent. Okay. Naturally where God, the father and Jesus send the Holy Spirit, but then also where the Holy Spirit is invited in. Uh, when to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have to invite the Holy Spirit in. Okay? All right. Then um, the last thing is this. He was sent from the Father. That's the seventh thing. Sent from the Father. So um, it, we, this didn't take place. It, was, it alludes to it. But this was early on where Abraham gave all the instructions to the servant and said, you need to do this and may, actually made an oath. Okay, and we talked about that several episodes ago. But he was sent by Abraham, and then, then he goes. And the Holy Spirit is also sent by the Father. And the Holy Spirit was, you know, and we read in, in 
the beginning chapters of Acts where the Holy Spirit was sent by the, the Father and that was to um, build up the church, okay? And it was always to point, point to Jesus, okay? Um, but it was given to empower um, the start of the church. And you know what? The Holy Spirit is still with us here today. And the Holy Spirit is there to, to help you walk your Christian life, but also to build up the church, okay? So uh, that concludes um, those seven things. Um, and I'll have them written down in the sh show notes on, on YouTube there too. Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we conclude actually chapter 24 of Genesis. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.